Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome back to our lesson. We just took a short break. We are doing some calculations involving Boyle's law. I give you an assignment at before we went for break the previous lesson. Therefore, if you have not done the assignment, please do the assignment before we continue. The assignment was at constant temperature. A gas with a pressure of 750 millimeters of mercury occupies a volume of 80 centimeters cubed. The question is, what will be the pressure of the gas if it is expanded to occupy a volume of 340 cubic centimeters. Therefore, the solution will be, therefore the expression is V1, P1 is equal to V2, P2, where V1 is the initial volume, P1 is the initial pressure, V2 is the final volume and P2 is the final pressure. Therefore, we can substitute these values from what we have been given in the question. At constant temperature, a gas with a pressure of 750 millimeters of mercury occupies a volume of 80 centimeters cubed. Therefore, the volume 1 is 80 centimeters cubed. We multiply by the initial pressure, which is 750 millimeters of mercury. And this is equal, equal to what will be the pressure of the gas if it, if it is expanded to occupy a volume of 340 centimeters cubed. Therefore, our V2 is 340. Therefore, what we don't have is P2, and that is what we are calculating. Therefore, to get P2, we have to divide both sides by 340. By 340. Therefore, this will cancel out. And P2 to cancel out to get 1. So, therefore, P2 will be 80 multiplied by 750 we divide by 340 which will be if you have your calculator you can calculate that that our volume 1 is 80 we multiply by pressure 1 is 750 equals to 60,000 divided by 340 This will be, if you divide 60,000 divided by 340, this will be 176.4705. So where there are decimal places, ensure you give at least four decimal places. Therefore, because we are looking for when we are calculating the pressure, this will be pressure in millimeters of mercury. Pressure in millimeters of mercury. And therefore, from the question, what will be the pressure of the gas if it is expanded to occupy a volume of 340? And therefore, we'll say that the pressure at 340 centimeters cubed will be 176 point point four five four seven zero five 0.45 mm 
millimeters of mercury. That is the answer to our question. I want to give you one more and then give you some several questions so that you can practice. The next question is I want to give you some more questions on Boyle's law so that you can practice and have more or and better understanding of Boyle's law. These are the questions. Of all those are the assignment questions. And the first one says the volume of a given mass of a gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 750 millimeters of mercury pressure is 456 cubic centimeters. What will be the volume or what will the volume be at 25 degrees Celsius and 750 millimeters of mercury pressure. The second says a glass syringe contains 80 centimeters cubed of air at 38 degrees Celsius and two atmospheres pressure. Calculate the volume of air in the syringe at a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius and four atmospheres. In an experiment, 375 cubic centimeters of gas P have a pressure of 800 millimeters of mercury. What will be the volume if pressure is reduced to 720 millimeters of mercury pressure? To brackets, temperature is kept constant. That is the assignment. Ensure that you've done the assignment before we meet in the next lesson. Then remember, I have given you three examples on how to do calculations involving Boyce's law. And all the three I've given you are examples or applications of Boyle's law. So ensure that you do them the way I have shown you, where you start with the formula, which is V1, P1 is equal to V2, P2. Now from there, you substitute whatever you've been given. Now from there, you'll be left with whatever you need to calculate for that matter. Now from there, whatever you need to calculate, you will have to make it the subject of the formula. Once you make it the subject of the formula, then from there you'll be able to calculate it to the end. So ensure that you've done that before you meet in the next lesson. Now our next lesson will discuss Chow's law. So ensure that you've done that. All the best. Bye. God bless you. Thank you.